It seems that sugar has become public enemy number one. Is sugar really that bad? Yes, and here's why. Consumption of sugar is directly related to being overweight, to type 2 diabetes, to tooth decay, and is probably also related to inflammation, disease, poor gut health, and vitamin and mineral deficiency. Did you know the average American consumes 20 teaspoons of added sugar per day, which is about 80 grams? Health professionals recommend that we limit our added sugar intake to just six teaspoons or 25 grams per day. Look for sneaky sugars in your sports drink, yogurt, cereal, and sauces. So, now you're going to ask, but what about fruit? Yes, fruit contains sugar, but let's not forget about all the fiber, vitamins, and minerals that we also get with fruit. I personally don't see fruit as the enemy here, but if you are trying to lose weight, try to swap a fruit snack for a veggie snack as often as you can to cut back on calories. What if you're addicted to sugar? Number one, get rid of the sugary snacks and beverages. Get them out of your house, your car, your office, and your hiding spot. Stop using your coworkers and family members as an excuse. They don't need the sugar either. Number two, try sparkling water or hot tea with sliced oranges, lemons, and limes. The color and zest here are a real treat. Number three, dip some ripened fruit in unsweetened cocoa powder if you're a chocoholic. Finally, save the sweet treats for birthdays, holidays, and celebrations. And keep the serving size very small, about the size of a teacup. I'd love to hear from you. Post pictures of your sugar swaps in our Facebook group and find me at laurapcoombs.com. Until next time, make fitness count.